What's good, y'all boys? It's your boy, Chef King. Chef Shalom, back in the building. I'll praise to the most high for another day. Hopefully, your brother's been out there grinding. You know what I mean? Handling business, doing what we're supposed to do on the regular. But hey, let me wrap with y'all boys real quick, man. First and foremost, you know what I mean? All praise to the most high. I appreciate, you know, all the brothers that are out there, you know, watching my videos, hitting the like button, subscribing. You know, I definitely appreciate y'all brothers. And we, you know, we're going to keep growing most high willing. But hey, man, real quick, dog. I was just finna slide to the gym. And I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and drop a little video real quick, you know? Here goes some ways in how you can make more money, bro. And I know you probably done watch videos on like how to make money doing this and that, but I'm gonna give you the, the, the things that I do in which, you know, has been able to make, allow me to make more money. But we'll start with the basic, bro. If you work a nine to five, bro, it's all right. You know what I mean? I know we in that day and age where it seems like working a nine to five is frowned upon, you know, this, that, and the third. I'm gonna be real with you. Working a nine to five is only frowned upon when you ain't got nothing else going outside that nine to five. If you comfortable just working your nine to five, going home and being on a rinse and repeat cycle, then yeah, you know, that's definitely frowned upon. But for you brothers out there who work a, a nine to five day in and day out, here goes some ways of what you could do to make some more money. You first, you gotta let that nine to five fuel or fund the your other avenues of making money your other avenues of income so what i mean by that is if for example if you offer a skill or you produce a product you know i talk about this a lot you know i have my own business and i use my nine to five money when i was working to fund my business you know i would get a check you know you're getting paid bi-weekly so that's pretty much every other week if you really think about it you, one week you're not getting paid the next week you're getting paid you know what i mean when you get paid instead of going to the mall or buying up all the clothes or going out to eat all the time going taking trips and stuff like that blowing your money splurging your money put some money to the side bro put some money to the side to go towards something that you offer you know like i said if you offer a skill or or if you offer a product you know to to the world or whatever use some of that money that you make on your nine to five to support that so if you need bottles if you need if you need equipment you need tools you need a truck you need any advertisement you need labeling you need shipping fees or anything of that nature bro use that money that some of that money that you get from your nine to five that you would be out here going to the club with or buying all the new jordans or, or wasting your money on you know miscellaneous things use that money instead to fund that i guarantee you bro it'll put more money in your pocket you know you're you're allowing yourself to use some of that nine to five money to now make money for you and that's the whole thing have your money work for you so if you offer a skill like like i said before i got a homie who details cars so his nine to five his career you know he's getting some money putting some money to the side to fund that business so if he needs some more fluids if he needs some more chemicals if he needs some more if the nozzle breaks on his pressure washer or something of that nature he got some money stashed to the side from his nine to five that you know he could be out here blowing money on you know doing whatever with it but he decides to use that money and buy supplies now now that i got supplies i'm ready and i'm available for people who need things you know pressure washed or they need their car detail or anything you know what i mean i'm ready for that service now i can make money you know or if you make a product like myself i make hair care products you know use the nine to five money to buy the advertisement to buy the marketing the labels the the bottles the ingredients that i use to mix all together to get those certain you know to get my glow oil and my glow butter you know i use my nine to five money for that so use your nine to five money to fund your your side hustles if that's what you want to call it your different avenues of income you know also use your nine to five money to invest say for example you you work at the bank you know or you work somewhere and you work monday through friday you feel me why you can't do research in your off time on your lunch break and in, in certain things to invest in i know people have a kind of a a phobia or a fear of investing because they feel like you put money in and then they lose 
but it's all about you doing your research. It, you got to do your research and everything you do. You can't just put money into something and then expect for it to just turn around and you just take a bunch of money out. It doesn't work like that. You got to put your research in. You got to do your reading. You got to do your study. You got to put some time in so you know what you're doing because this is your money, bro. So you don't want to be out here just giving the market your money. Whether you trade in forex, so whether you trade in stock options, or if you just invest in the straight up stocks, you have to do your research and understand what you're looking at before you put your money in. But it takes for you to, you know, make your money on your nine to five, put some money to the side, and learn the skill to invest and then invest. That's another way of making your money. The ways of making money, bro. Pick up a pick up a uh, part time job if you want, bro. Say it's something that's in your area. And, you know, say you get off at 5 o'clock, you know, and then you go to the gym, right? Say you at the gym from, like, 6 to 7.30, you feel me? You get back home at 8 o'clock, usually you ain't doing nothing but hopping on the game or doing something that's just wasting your time, you know? And then you end up not going to bed until, like, 1 o'clock in the morning anyways. Why not see if it's somewhere locally you feel me unless you want to drive but it's just an idea see if it's somewhere close by you could pick up a little four hour shift working from eight to twelve you know what i mean so even with you blowing them four hours usually playing the game or or smoking weed and just like not just being lazy pick up a nice little cool little four hour shift i'm just you know not everybody's built like that to work two sh two jobs i've done it before so, yeah, I know it's definitely strenuous on the body, but if you're able to do something like that, do that. That that occupies your time a little bit more and for that case, and then you are allowed to make more money this way. You know what I mean? So, pick up a, a little four-hour shift, work maybe three times a week. So, maybe, say, for example, you work Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, you know, on, on your, on your part-time. So, you still got Tuesday. You still got Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to do other things that you might want to do. And then when you think about it, you're getting more income coming in. So, for example, bro, just hit me out. Say you offer a skill or a product, right, that you do on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. And you just don't do nothing on Sunday. You just chill on Sunday. Cool. So, you got that money coming in, right? You got your 9 to 5 coming in Monday through Friday. Right, you got your part time money coming in from Monday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. You feel me? That's three sources of income, right? Duh, way more than more. That's that's way more money that you could possibly be making compared to you just going nine to five, Monday through Friday, punching the clock in and punching the clock out. You see how you're able to maximize more time? You ain't got it, ain't like you got extra hours in the day. These are the same 24 hours you got every single day. But now you're just using them. You're prioritizing your time a lot different. Now these are different ways of making money. You feel me? If you want to start doing YouTube, for example, that's another avenue of making money. You know, the more work you put in, eventually you will get paid doing this. So do something, you know, talk about something that you're passionate about. Me personally, I like to rap with you brothers about like different things brothers may struggle with or bettering ourselves every day or just ideas that you know come to mind or examples of like sometimes we talk about how to handle and deal with women on this channel stuff like that you feel me but if you want to start content creating shit use your nine to five paycheck to help fund that you know you need a good ass camera because you know i when i started out i've been recording on my iphone i can't record on my iphone forever you know eventually i'm on a good camera save your money up put some money to the side you know go on the market to see what's a good camera to use Put your money to the side, I bet. You know what I mean? Now you got better content. Now you got better quality. You might need more, you might have more space now to record more content. You could pump out more content now. Instead of you dropping one video a day, because you gotta record on your iPhone and then edit it and then upload it, which just takes a lot of time. You could record a long ass video, for example, chop that thing down. Now you got multiple videos. You could be dropping two, three videos a day, getting more and more traffic to your channel which makes it easier and you getting closer and closer to hitting the monetization goals. Now you getting the bag, another source of income. So you could be doing this outside of work. You come home at five o'clock, record for an hour or so, chop them things down. 
you know, you probably, it's probably like 8 o'clock, cool, boom, you do that. Or you come home, you record for an hour or so, you go to the gym, you come back, you cook, you shower, you edit your videos, 9, 10, 11 o'clock, boom, you done. So even if you don't post that day, the next day you got enough content to post the next three days. Come on, bro. It's, it's, it's ways of making money out here. We just got to stop being lazy thinking that we're going to get rich off this 9 to 5, but we're not going to get rich off the 9 to 5. I'm here to tell y'all, boys, I know y'all heard that before, but you're not going to get rich just going to work and saving your money. You got to put your money to the test. You got to make your money work for you. And those are just some ideas, you know what I mean? Hit me up in the comments if you got any, any other ideas or if you want to shout your business out. Maybe you and some brothers can network, you know what I mean? We could help each other out. But hey, this your boy King Chef Shalom. If the message apply to you, what I tell y'all brothers, you charge it to the game. If it don't, you keep it pushing. All praise to the most high. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. So shalom, y'all boys. <laughs>